Casey reached out to me recently saying, hey, I got a couple of Game Gear games for you. Do you think you can fix them? Do I think I can? I mean, I, I think I can. I don't know, we'll give it a shot anyway with open cart surgery. You know, I get these games that just aren't working again. Oftentimes you just have to clean them, but sometimes we touch them up with a soldering iron and breathe some new life into them. I don't have a tech background or engineering degree. I've just been doing this stuff since like the 90s to get these games working again. The entire over 100 videos I've done on this open cart surgery series, I've only done one Game Gear game and it didn't work. And with two games available, I'm hoping at least one of these works. If I can get one working, that's a win for me. Now, I've been talking about how I have two Game Gear games, and one of them is Mortal Kombat. The other one is also Mortal Kombat. So I will test my might to see if I can get these working. <clears throat> It looks like one of them's already been opened and the other one hasn't yet. And we will uh, go ahead and open this one up as well. It looks like it's that same 3.8 millimeter. This thing has been, ooh, looks like this isn't something tried to use a power screwdriver or something like that just to get it through. Uh, this one should, it's like, doesn't quite want to grip onto it. Let me try this other one here. Uh, there we go. Okay. Oop. Okay, so it is still the 3.8 millimeter. I tried the 4.5 first that I usually use for uh, Genesis games. Um, but no, it's it's the, the same one as like the NES games, Game Boy games, Game Gear games, most games. Tells you how unfamiliar I am with these. Eeh. All right, how do I do this? Well, this one already didn't have a screw in there, so... Ooh. Let me just drop it down there. Okay, so yeah, just uh, snap case on couple side. Okay, good to know. All right. So now what I want to look at, this is what you're looking at. It's not focusing because it's too busy looking at my eye. There we go. Um, it's like the, the dual pin set there. That's kind of fun. Nothing on the other side. It's just blank. That's what holds it in place. So let's clean it. Let's just try the old one-up card first. You can tell I've used this a time or two. These are made to fit into cartridges. I got a cartridge right here. This is another game I need to fix on open cart surgery sometime soon. So you'll see this video soon. But they, they're made to fit just like that. So you don't have to open them up. And these ones feature my face on it. What? Linked in the Amazon store below. I do not make these. These are still a... Uh, someone else makes them. But I think they're pretty cool. Fluid on the fluid side. And these pins do look a little dirty. So I'll just kind of just do a little bit of this. That's already working really well just to do that much. This might be all it takes. I'm going to do the other one too. Let's just try that just like that. I will put this back together again if I can figure that out. This goes here. And this goes here on top. And it just kind of snaps into place. A little snap, snap job there. So if that's the case, then this one can prob probably... Pry it open just like that. Perfect. Come on now. And again, same thing. Pardon my grungy fingernails. Or we were taking care of some kittens earlier today. Yeah, you believe that? Somebody called. You know, my day job is I work for a group of radio stations, and somebody called the radio stations, saying that they found a box of kittens on the side of the road. It's probably been there for like half an hour or longer. Holes punctured into the top of it. Just hot heat outside. Um, so our uh, person at the front desk just said, "Bring them here. We'll take care of them, and we'll find a way to, you know." rehouse them or something so we did so at work we were uh, taking care of these baby kittens that's kind of fun so a little cleaning there and i'm going to test this in this this is the analog pocket along with the game gear adapter now i don't have a game gear anymore not that one that works anyway um i x-men's in there right now just so you can see what it looks like when i do turn it on so when i go to play cartridge and i'll show you that you know, before the cartridge plays, it gives you a little uh, information about it, and then when you click the button, it goes on to the game. Okay. Okay, so we're back back to quit cartridge here. I'm going to slide this on in. I'm going to hit play cartridge. That tells me nothing. Nothing whatsoever. Not even an error screen. Play cartridge. Well, let me pop in the grungy one here, just, just in case. Let's see if the grungy one works now. Quit cartridge, and now we have to play cartridge, and still... Nothing. I just realized I've been biting my teeth. I mean, biting my teeth, biting my nails. I'm gonna wash my hands after that whole kitten stuff today, but still, not that my hands haven't been anywhere worse. Okay, well, let's try. Um, let's see what else we can do here. Maybe the maybe the Bright Boy. This is Bright Boy. It's a brass polisher. Doesn't leave that weird residue that Brasso does, but still, when you use anything, you want to make sure it's extra clean. Where's that Q-tip I just had? I just had it a second ago. What, what the dupe? Where'd it go, dude? Like, <laughs> yeah, no clue. No clue where it went. It's all right. I got another one. So here's a little bit of Bright Boy. Bright Boy. 
Just saw Christopher Judge is going to be a guest at Game On Expo. I wish I was going to Game On Expo this year, but it's on the same weekend as Long Island where I'm already going. Okay, come on. I didn't put the screw back on, did I? No, I didn't think so. This is the one that was the grungy one. This was the one that already didn't have a screw. There we go. Okay. Well, like I said, I don't want to break it, break it. I will take this out of the casing here. And I'll do a little bit of dab. Doop, 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 doop. And while this is still, still has fluid on it, I'll do this one too. Doop, doop. I know there's people who don't like that I do this and I don't blame you. So I'm gonna do that, dry it off with the other side of the Q-tip and I'm still gonna take it through with, a, with the uh, one-up card because I don't want to leave anything that doesn't need to be on there. Mm -hmm. My next convention will be Mo Game Con in St. Louis, Missouri. That's at the end of July. Then come August, I will be at Long Island, Long Island Gaming Expo. Look out for that one. I had a great time last year, coming back this year. And then October is gonna be pretty busy because October, September 30th through October 1st is Pittsburgh Gaming Expo. I'll be there for the first time in Pittsburgh. And the very next weekend, I'll be in Syracuse for Game uh, Retro Game Con. Ain't that something. And then in November, oop, almost dropped it. In November, there's Really Rad Weekend. And then the weekend after Really Rad Weekend is Free Play Florida. So I'll be spending a week in Florida, sounds like. But Florida in November doesn't sound bad. They're even talking about maybe having me do open cart surgery live. <laughs> it's like, well, we'll see what happens. Okay, let's try these. And I was looking at the uh, circuit board themselves, and I don't know if there's anything I can touch up with a, with a soldering iron like I can with other stuff. Maybe there is. But we'll try these and see how we see how we go here. So let's turn it back on. And we popped in that X-Men one, so we know it worked, right? We know it worked. But play cartridge. I think it's just fried. It's fried. It tested its might and then did a fatality on itself. Try it one more time here. Oh, I turned it off. I didn't want to turn it off. Whew. Come on now. I mean, I oh, know it's funny. I have like the open FPGA so I can just load up the Game Boy. I can just load up Mortal Kombat on the Game Gear and just play it that way. But, but no, I want the cartridge to work. I want the information from this thing to play itself. That's why I have the adapter. Any luck? Nothing on the other one? The other one's not showing anything on the other one. All right, I'm not gonna worry about it. I thought I'd give it a shot. So that's a total of three Game Gear games I've ever tried on this uh, series, and it doesn't work, and I'm okay with that, because I don't have a Game Gear anyway. All I have is this little adapter. I'm actually getting rid of this adapter because I'm gonna send it to uh, my buddy Game Dad show. So never mind about all that. Game Gear, not happening. However, more open cut surgery, like I said. I got this game I gotta fix, so I'll be doing that video soon. Sometime soon. Sometime this summer soon.